Okay, so I had a couple of people ask me about OBS. Um, I've recently started using it. It's actually a lot better than XSplit. It's free. Um, I'll put the download link in the description. And it's actually a lot more lightweight. Uh, that means that you'll get better FPS in game and you can stream at higher uh, quality settings without feeling the lag in game, you know. Uh, so at the moment I'm streaming uh, with 1080p quality, 60 FPS. So, and I'm not feeling that at all. It's really cool. Um, so get started, you want to literally just set up your scene. Just add a new scene. Uh, we'll call it test1. And you add some sources. So you want to do software capture if you want to stream your desktop or game capture if you want to just stream the game. So I'll just do software capture for now. Um, don't need to change any of the other stuff. Uh, it's just preference. So you got capture mouse cursor. If you want that, it's up to you. Um, now you can preview it by hitting preview stream. Now you can see what's going on. Uh, we can add some other stuff like uh, we can add images, slideshows, we can add some text. So like if you're getting donations or something like that, you can add some text, change the font. Test, 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 test. Well, uh, you can increase the size, make it bold. Uh, the more you increase the size, the better resolution the text will be when you like drag it out, whatever. Color here, background color here. You can add a border to it as well, I think. Yeah, outline. You can just mess around with that, do what you want. Now I can't move it. To do that, I have to hit edit scene. So I've done that, I can move it around. Make it bigger. Whatever. Nice and easy. Uh, when you're done editing, you can just hit edit scene again and it'll lock it and you can't move anymore. Uh, we can add webcam as well. With video capture device. Uh, yeah, Just smash in the, the Logitech. Job done. Okay. I'll do edit that as well whatever okay so that's setting up your scene it's relatively easy you can change the, the mic and the audio volume as well if it's not right on the stream now to set up your broadcasting settings you go to settings and settings again and then encoding now I'm running uh, on a 15 meg upload internet connection and I'm running 4k bitrate top quality MP3 codec on audio, 192 bit rate, and that's literally enough for 1080p, 60 FPS. I don't see why you would go over that, to be honest. So, if you've got a good internet connection, just smash that in. Job done. Okay. Next, we want to choose where we're streaming to. Most people, that'll be Twitch. Choose the server closest to where you live. Uh, you get your stream key from Twitch TV slash broadcast. Uh, make sure you're logged in and you'll get your stream key. Um, auto reconnect, that's just in case I disconnect. Uh, if I want to save it to file, I can just take this and I'll put in like where I want to save the, the files to and that'll just, like whenever I stream, it'll also record the broadcast. So I can then go back and take out the good stuff um, and make a, a video out of it or whatever. It's up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, video. That's just you choosing your resolution, FPS, disable arrow and startup, that's pretty good to do uh, because you'll get a bit more lag if you don't do that. Audio, um, you pretty much only need to change the first two to make sure that it actually works. Uh, use push to talk if you want, not a big deal, it's all self-explanatory. Advanced, I haven't changed anything in here really. Um, you can just copy this if you want. Uh, it's working fine for me, so I haven't needed to to change anything in here. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, I'll put the link to OBS in the YouTube description. Um, and if you've got any questions, then just post them in the comments. Okay. Bye.